All right, this is the tutorial we've all been waiting for, equations. How do we insert equations into Jupyter? If you were to use, uh, for example, Microsoft Word to do homework or reports and so forth, you can insert somewhat good-looking good uh, equations by using the Microsoft Equation Editor, and it is a viable um, approach to use. However, it's also rather uh, cumbersome, uh, tedious, takes a while with all the clicking to find the uh, different symbols and so forth. Jupyter is a lot faster and I think easier um, to do equations in. It uses something called a LaTeX format. LaTeX is a typesetting software that is favored in the uh, subjects of physics and math because of the way it can implement equations but also the control you have the formatting of the document itself. So it's a typesetting software, whereas Microsoft Word is more like a text editor. Um, <clears throat> I won't uh, ask you to uh, know LaTeX, but I will show you how we can use the LaTeX formatting to make equations in Jupyter. So um, I already made a document and titled it. I'm going to just say in this here markdown, but it's going to say uh, we will Hmm. Let's say Jupyter uses LaTeX. I should say LaTeX based because it has a little bit of its own as well. But LaTeX based uh, formatting for equations. Okay. So here's an example. Um, the quadratic equation. And the way we do it is we use um, or the latex based formatting is using dollar sign. A dollar sign indicates that an equation is beginning and the uh, second dollar sign indicates the end of the equation. So we do a uh, dollar signs, two dollar signs. The first one indicate here's where we begin the equation and then the last one or the second one will indicate this is where the equation ends. So anything in between uh, the dollar signs will be formatted as an equation. So we have a x squared. We use the caret symbol two plus b x plus c equals zero. So we're simply just typing it out. And in LaTeX to make a, a power, that is the caret. So this is the uh, quadratic equation. Let's see how it looks like when we do shift enter. We execute the cell. We can now see we have a nice looking equation. We also notice that the equation is in line with the text. And sometimes that's what we desire. Other times we want it to be uh, separated from the text, maybe be centered. So let's uh, try and do that. See how we can do that. quadratic equation again. But now I'm going to use two dollar sign to indicate a beginning. So this is not LaTeX format. This is one of the cases where Jupyter has its own little additional formatting added to the LaTeX formatting. So now we use a double dollar sign to size the equation. And it's AX caret. And now I'm going to show uh, what I say is a little bit more maybe a good habit to a uh, Use for powers for example. Let's say that the power was x to the power of of 20, for example. If you just use caret and wrote 20, it will write it as uh, a x squared followed by zero. So in order to get when we have more than one character, we use curly brackets, and then whatever goes inside the curly brackets, no matter how many ca uh, characters it is, will be put into the powers. We call this called like a superscript. A subscript is a underline. Okay, so plus bx plus c equals zero, and now we know that we had the double dollar sign to start with, so we're gonna end with a double dollar sign. Let's see how that looks like. Shift Enter, and now we see that it gets on its own line, but it also gets centered in the document. And um, so this is a really nice feature of uh, Jupyter, that we have these options. Now I want to show you just a, 
a couple of common commands because these are latex commands. You see now one now. The carrot is the way to make a, uh, like a superscript or a power. Um, but I want to show you some more that we're using quite frequently. And as as you go along, you will uh, you get into a habit of using the same ones over and over, so you don't have to look it up all the time. <clears throat> you can say the solution is. I'm gonna put this on its uh, own line now, and in fact, I'm gonna do it in here as well. Um, but that will not be formatted as an own line. <clears throat> it's first the, the double dollar sign will format as own line. And what is the solution? Is x equals, and now we're gonna have a fraction or uh, a ratio. And the way to do that is backslash frac. And then we do curly brackets. The curly brackets is the way of grouping things in LaTeX or an equation format. Inside the first group of curly brackets is the numerator. The second group of uh, curly brackets is the denominator. So inside the uh, first group, we're going to have minus b. Then it's plus minus. That's uh, backslash pm. You now notice a lot of these little commands we might have in uh, LaTeX is a backslash followed by whatever that command is. And then the square root, so it's SQRT command, so the backslash SQRT, curly brackets. Whatever is inside the curly brackets will be in the square root. And you can see we can easily get a lot of curly brackets. We're going to keep track of these curly brackets, so make sure you get a begin and each time you start them. And then it's B squared minus 4AC. That is our denominator, sorry, numerator. In the denominator is 2a. And then we're going to wrap it up with a double dollar sign. Let's see how that looks like. Here we go. Now we have a nice looking equation. And when you get the hang of, I've done a couple of times where you've done the square root, a ratio, and so forth, you will find it's going to be a lot quicker than actually making equations in this, in this form in comparison, for example, the Microsoft Equation Editor. So, uh, the last thing I want to do here is, since we now have uh, learned how to make links, I'm going to make a little space or a divider here. I'm going to put, put in some links here now. But see, these are, I cannot tell you all the commands you're going to use from LaTeX, for example. Um, so it's nice to just kind of have a cheat sheet. So let's make a cheat sheet link here. Uh, Remember how to make a link? Square brackets, uh, uh, round brackets for the link. Square brackets is kind of the text we have. So, link to LaTeX cheat sheet. And it's just for all the commands you can have a we typically use. So, I have a website here. This is actually a LaTeX math for undergraduates. And what you can see here is for example, here's the uh, most common one. A uh, power is caret. Subscripts is this underline or under bar. And then whatever we have inside curly brackets, square root. Uh, we have fractions, as we just have seen here. But you can also see how we can make Greek letters. Often physics, we use Greek letters. Backslash, and then it's alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and so forth. So it's kind of intuitive. Um, signs are cosines to make them look nice. We used to begin the backslash. Here are symbols like uh, less than, greater than, and so forth. How we make those? Uh, we're gonna do uh, integrals at some point. We could also do uh, uh, vectors. I think do they have them here? Oh yeah, here's a vector right here. It has a bar across it. Uh, dots we may be using as well. We may be using arrows, how we make those. So this is just a two-page document that illustrates a lot of those commands. So I'm going to copy this here. I'm going to insert it right here, such that if you ever want to look it up, you can just go into the document and you click it on here. You can also say, if you want to learn more about LaTeX, Then there's a not so short introduction to LaTeX. This is a great document. It is actually relatively short. 
Um, so let's try and uh, put that in here. Okay. And then we hit enter. So if any of you have a keen to uh, keen interest in learning a little bit more LaTeX, feel free to uh, check that out. It is absolutely not required for the class. We're not really using LaTeX documents uh, for homeworks or anything like that. Um, but there might be some links and hints in there that you might use. So uh, this uh, round up the equations tutorial and we're going to see a, a lot of different equations in the class and I'm hoping you will try and get a appreciation for how easy it is in Jupiter when we first get started on it and how nice the equations will look like.